Hey everybody, I'm Robert the Zombie Bargain Hunter and today, today I have a different type of video for you today. Uh, we are going to be trying out two new products. Uh, both are no, no so adhesive that permanently bond uh, plush and different fabrics and I don't know, hats, sweaters, shirts. Um, they'll permanently bond everything. Oh, I, I made sure to wear a shirt that I didn't mind if I got some glue on it. Uh, just in case it messes it up. Um, but anyways, uh, these both claim to be washable and completely permanent. So I have five plush right here. We are going to try to see if we can repair them without sewing. Uh, let me show you the first one. The first one is Eileen's Fabric Fusion. Uh, this one claims to permanently bond everything and leave it soft. So hopefully it doesn't lie to us. <laughs> And the second one, uh, the second one is Beacon Fabric Tack. It is a permanent adhesive. Uh, this one actually bo bonds like wood and it basically bonds everything, glass, leather. This one, this one's crazy. So <laughs> I actually have a, um, a bear's nose that actually is falling off. So it says it bonds like plastic and stuff. So I'm going to try to bond the nose to the plush. So let's see if that works. All right, uh, the links are down below if you want to try them for yourself, so click away. <laughs> All right, let me get set up and see how this goes. Okay, well, I am set up. I got some clips. Let's see, I got a bunch of little clips. I have a bigger clip, and I got a little safety pin so I can just um, dab in the glue and then put it wherever I want. Uh, the first one we're going to try to repair is this little bunny rabbit you can see the glasses are super loose on it, it does it does dance around but... <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right enough playing with the the peeps peeps bunny all right um uh the first one i will use i will use the beacon fabric tack um i've used beacon before uh, I don't like what I don't like about beacon is that it leaves it like crunchy But I've never used it on two different fabrics before I've used it um, on like a corner of of a Animal or something like that, but like I said, I didn't really like it when I did it that way So I'm gonna try it this way if I'm just gonna get a little bit of glue here well Got a dab of glue up so you can see it got a dab of glue and I'm just going to shove it underneath his glasses and press down. And hopefully it fuses him. <laughs> I'm not going to hold it here all this time. So let me find something to put on top of him. Uh, what can I put on top of him? Hold on. Let me. Never mind. He's actually pretty good already. So I'm just going to leave him alone. Put him aside. And let's move on to the second one. Uh, this is the one I really wanted to try. I'll use, I'm going to use the same beacon glue. This is the, <laughs> the nose of the bear has actually come off. Come on, camera. Focus. You can see it's completely off right here. Um, so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue all the way around it. And it says this, this beacon says that it. It does wood and plastic and glass and everything else. So I'm going to put this all around the nose and hopefully it works. We're going to find out right now. If I can find my little pin. <laughs> so I'm going to get a bunch of glue. Because even if this dries uh, crunchy, it won't matter because it's right under the nose. So oh, I'm trying to get a bunch of glue. I got a Big old chunk of glue. Looks like a big old mokul. <laughs> and we shove it in there. Ugh. Get in there. I need a little bit right here. You can see it's still missing. I'm trying to focus. It's never been at this angle before. <laughs> uh, it's hard to show you and work at the same time. Uh, this glue sticks to everything. So watch yourself. That's why I said I made sure to 
put on a shirt that I did not mind getting uh, some glue on him. So that there we go. Let's see. It feels pretty good already. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave all five of these animals that I'm fixing overnight. And I will come back in the morning and show you how they turned out. But so far these, it feels good already. I have a, <laughs> this is my speaker that went out the other day. So I'm going to put this right on this face. <laughs> uh, and see if it will hold it down. All right. <laughs> All right, I got that guy to a, to the side over here, and the next one I'm gonna try to repair is this My Little Pony. You can see if I can show it to you right here that it's supposed to be connected. His hair or her hair is supposed to go over like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a dab of glue right here, and um, hopefully it sticks. Just gonna match where the stitches are you can see that there's like little holes I don't know if you can see with the camera but there's little holes where the stitches um, where it's going uh, this one's more liquidy than the other one this is the Eileen's fabric fusion so the other one was a little harder and thicker so this one I'm just gonna oh yeah this is way softer hmm okay I'm just gonna put a few drops right here and then I will put over her hair. Hold it there for a little while. And we'll put her aside for her to dry overnight somewhere. Alright, I put her aside. Now I have one of our favorites. Build-A-Bear! <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I'm seeing. You can't see yet. <laughs> Not into the... It has one of those hard, um, one of those boxes that don't work. Let me just pull it out of its arm. You can see it has one of these. You can see it right there. And it's supposed to make noise, but this guy, this girl weighs uh, 16.1 ounces. So without this, it will take her down to under 16 ounces with the bag. So uh, what I'm going to do is just sew up the back well not sew up the back glue up the back actually it'll go straight like that and see how this comes out i am trusting you um eileen so don't let me down i don't want to ruin a nice plush so see i'm just gonna come on you want to come out all right there you go i'm gonna put a bunch right here i am going to soak it because I don't want to uh, come back and it is not glued enough. Uh, let's get a bigger clip. And hopefully this works. This Eileen's is supposed to dry soft so that's what I'm hoping. We've got even beauty clip here. <laughs> I don't even know where I got that clip. Alright, so it is sewn up. Well, not sewn up. Glued up, and we'll hopefully tomorrow. There you go. Hopefully tomorrow it is nice and perfect. I think I got everything. So, yeah. Oh, our My Little Pony is coming apart. Well, I didn't. I guess I didn't do it good enough. So, let me clip her. I'm going to clip her down now. Yeah, this, our hair was coming apart, so I just clipped it. <laughs> we'll see if that works. Uh, hopefully it works, but <laughs> we'll see. So she is clipped now, and we will do one more. I will try one more with this Eileen's Fabric Fusion. So I've done two with the Beacon Fabric Tack, um, and I'm going to do three with the, this Fabric Fusion. Uh, the beacon, why I don't want it, the, this one, why I don't want to use it on these is because, like I, like I said, it'll leave this crunchy. And you don't want your buyer to feel like crunchiness right here. Because I've used this in the past. And it works, but it leaves it crunchy. This one, Eileen's, is supposed to leave it soft. So, we're going to find out. Um, this one, this dog actually barks. 
<laughs> so if you are so if you are fixing these guys, make sure you put the battery pack uh, flush down so when you squeeze it, it makes the noise before you attempt to close them up. All right, let's see how I can do this. This guy's <laughs> looks like the there is enough material here so I can just flop them over. So let's just do a generous amount again. If it wants to come out. And I will put the other part over. I might be making a mess. <laughs> oh, I put my finger in the glue. That's nasty. <laughs> and we will. Yeah. Hmm. Let's get one of these big clips. Clip them down. Oops. Oops. Ow. The clip broke on me. <laughs> that is not helpful. <laughs> Why are you going to do that to me, clip? All right. I'm going to steal this clip from My Little Pony. And we'll have to exchange clips later. There we go. Go. Got him down. Got him clipped. And I will clip this little part down here. And clip them over here. And let's see how this My Little Pony is coming out. It's not, not sticking a little bit. Let me see right there. Whoops, let me see. <laughs> Show it to you. It's not sticking all the way. Maybe I have to put a little bit more glue. You can see it's sticking right here, but it's not sticking here. But yet, it's not dry yet, so... I am going to just push it down and put something on top of her head. Uh, um, I will leave you and in the morning I will come back and we will find out how these guys turned out. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm back. It is now morning. So let's check on all these guys and see how they turned out. All right, let's start with the first one. This was the peeps and I used the fabric tack beacon on him or her and it's got a blue bow <laughs> I'll call it a uh, her so you can see I can't pull it off so it really worked but if you get your hand in there it is kind of like crunchy I said this glue will leave a crunchy but it's perfect for something like this where it doesn't matter so this one is perfect. It is not coming off. It is not moving anytime soon. You can play the song. <laughs> It'll work fine. It won't vibrate off. So that worked perfectly. Let's let's try the next one. Hopefully the camera work is great because i um, never done it down the side before. So hopefully it turned out okay. <laughs> All right. This is a My Little Pony. Ugh, it's got a fur on it. Let's see how it's stuck. Oh yeah, it's not coming off. I'm gonna try to hold it. Look, it's not coming off. So that was with uh, Eileen's Fabric Fusion. And let's feel it. It's not, well, it's soft, but it's, I expect it to be a little bit softer, but maybe it's just because it's not completely dry yet. But yeah, it, it worked great. As you can see, I can hold it like this and not let it fall. So, two for two. We're good. And this one I actually sold. So, I'm going to go mail this one off right now. Uh, let's go with the Build-A-Bear. Build-A-Bear. The fancy clip. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I don't really like how that sticks out like that. I think I have to turn the fabric in and then use the glue and then clip it like that. And that'll look better because this doesn't look very good. I try to see, but purple's so bad on camera. It's just really, really bad. But you can see it's standing up a little bit. I don't know, I'm either going to trim it or just redo it. I might be able to just see how that's like a ridge. I might be able to just glue it down, but it is, it's soft. It's not hard. Um, like, like this one, this one gets hard. This one. So 
So this one stayed pretty soft. So this one was with the fabric fusion. So if you want to try it on Builder Bears, I mean, it works. I mean, you'd probably have to say that it was repaired, but it, it it's holding. I can't pull it apart. It's it's working. The poor little bear with his nose ripped off. Uh, let's try this guy. Huh? It's it's holding. Poor little guy. <laughs> uh, I think I missed a little spot right here. But otherwise, you saw how his nose was almost completely off. It is holding. And that's with the... That's a beacon again. And I don't even feel the glue because it's behind the nose. So, yeah, it's holding. I might just put a little dab right here or maybe just leave it alone because it's really not noticeable unless you play with the nose. But, yeah, it's, it's holding. These, these glues are working great. And last but not least, uh, the puppy dog. Take these off and take these off. And stretch it a little bit because it's completely smashed <laughs> stretch it and yeah this one I did perfect I did bliss well <laughs> let's see look I mean I have some threads I had to cut off like right there shut up dog <laughs> but yeah um if as soon as I cut off some threads and everything else I mean, it has like a kind of like rough feel. It's not perfectly like um, soft, soft. But I mean, for not having to sew and everything else, this is perfect. Uh, especially if you don't know how to sew, um, this is the way to go. And I might be doing this for a lot more of my toys. Yeah, it is perfect. You can't pull it apart. I mean, I, I could if I wanted to, really, really. But um, as a child, I don't think they could pull this apart. Perfect. All right, and that was with uh, Fabric Fusion. I did use a bunch of it, so maybe if I use less, um, it won't be as, uh, you won't feel the texture of the glue as much. But anyways, um, hope you liked my video. Please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And don't fiddle fart around. Get all your listings up. Take care, guys. Bye. Oh, and before I go, uh, don't forget the links are down below if you want to go purchase this stuff for yourself. Give it a try. <laughs> Take care. Bye.